Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us on this very early, early morning start for today's adventure. The reason we're up so early is because we have a big day planned. We're here in New Jersey, and today's adventure is not about New Jersey. Today, we're going to the big city, the Big Apple. We're going to New York City, and we have no idea what we're doing. We didn't actually have a plan for this, but luckily, we ran into a neighbor here at the RV park who used to work in downtown New York, and she gave us all the details on how to be successful today, especially with a dually. So we're taking her advice and we're gonna follow her steps on our adventure today. The first one being, we have to get there. Hey guys, today is the last day to get yourself entered to win your very own EBL 1000 portable power station. It puts out AC, DC, and USB and type C outputs. We love this thing and we use it for everything. If you want a chance to win your very own EBL 1000, today's the last day. Head over to pavenewpass.com and get yourself some merch. Any merchandise from our store gets you to win your very own EBL 1000. made it to New York City. Actually, we're not there yet. We can see it. We're still in Jersey. Look at this. It looks cool. All right, step two is to find somewhere to park this dually. And we have some tips from our tour guide. We're actually gonna try to valet it at a hotel here on the New Jersey side. And then we're gonna take a ferry across to New York City. This is a nightmare with a dually. Look, <laughs> look at that right there. I'm literally blocking everyone from leaving. We got honked at because he thought we could go somewhere, but there's cars in front of us. Did you ask him where he's gonna park that thing? Because I didn't see any parking. No, he said he's got places. Oh, okay, good deal. I hope he's gentle with her. <laughs> so it's only $26 for 24 hours of parking here at the Hyatt Regency. And look where we are, right there, New York City. Look at the city. We have to find the ferry to take a ride right over there to Manhattan. Right now, we're in Jersey City, that's Manhattan, and that's One World Trade Center. I got our tickets. Okay. I think that we're the only people that buy tickets because we know what we're doing. I think yeah. everybody else buys these on their phone and just walks up and gets oh. on. Because she was like, um, you actually <laughs> want a ticket? <laughs> <laughs> so where are we headed? We had to go to Slip 7 at the end. made it across to Manhattan and this place I mean we're from Texas but look at the size of that building that's one World Trade Center and since we're right here we're gonna make our first stop the 9-11 Memorial for the Twin Towers
the World Trade Center 9-11 Memorial and it's a lot like Pentagon. It's uh, very humbling to see it. There's just so many names. Like as you walk around each one, it's a lot. And then you see the flowers stuck in people's names. So you know it's someone's loved one and it's just, it's too much. You can also see like uh, the, the fire department and the police department. The, the names are supposed to be in bronze, but they've been touched so many times by people that they're uh, faded out because everybody's coming to pay their respects. Yeah, I would highly suggest if you come walk around each one because you'll see it's not just names or it's not just flight numbers. Like there's all kinds of different things that let you know who everyone was, which is really special, I think. It also recognizes uh, what department they were from, so like the FBI, the fire department. If you, whatever job you had down here, it talks about your job and who you were. We found fire station 10 and their huge memorial wall on the side of the building honoring all 343 fire department members who lost their lives on the morning of 9-11 also a very humbling experience to see just how many people sacrificed on that day now we're gonna go find the charging bull in wall street the stock exchange charging bull and there was a bigger line to take a picture with the rear of the bull than there was the front of the bull dad that one was for you i know <laughs> you want your picture made there so you're gonna have to live vicariously through us <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna try to find the new york stock exchange new york city smells amazing everything smells like maybe it's because i'm hungry but everything smells amazing here Street and our walking's done <laughs> so we're getting the hop on hop off double decker tour bus tickets okay we're about to walk right back over there by the bull and we're gonna take the rest of this tour by bus because there's a lot of walking here in new york yep. phil the city ain't for you <laughs> so before we get on our hop on hop off bus we're here at the battery to look at the statue of liberty and i'll tell you what the most aggressive salespeople in this city no we're not thank you though as I was saying, the most aggressive people in this city are the ones trying to get you to go on the tour to the Statue of Liberty. You can't walk three, four steps without someone being like, hey man, do you want to go? Alicia thinks that they get paid based on how many visitors they get. Gosh. Just our kids chasing pigeons again. So anyway, we're going to go look at the Statue of Liberty, but we're not going out to it because I think it takes too much time to go out there and come back. Yeah. And we, we got a lot of things to see. The, uh, the ones I saw said it's a 70 mile. 75 minute tour yeah. so that's a long time for us right now maybe if we come back tomorrow we're probably not coming back tomorrow <laughs> this is going to be a big day so that's the statue of liberty that's as close as we can get to it <laughs> yeah we don't have a boat and we don't have enough time to go do the tour. We're not paying for the boat ride today. We made it to the Double Decker Burris. We were able to follow directions and we got on the first try. So, uh, so far we're doing better in DC. <laughs> this should be fun. We're saving our steps. Girls, where's the roof? The roof is right here. <laughs> We 
we survived the bus trip and we are now in Midtown. We're at Times Square. What'd you think about the bus ride? It was very uh, jerky, but Yeah, but it's, it's the way to go. Oh yeah, it definitely it saved our legs so much. It was definitely the way to see it. This feels like the New York you see on TV. There's yeah. people honking horns, people doing all kinds of things. There's so much Italian. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. This feels like all the movies. Square is crazy. Kind of awesome. <laughs> it's just like the movies, except for it's way bigger than you think it is. What do you think about all these characters? So cool. Look. Are they cool? Who all have you seen so far? Minnie, Sonic, Mickey, a gorilla, and a dino. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Yeah, what guys, do you like? I like the pink Minnie. You like pink Minnie? See all the characters? Hello, baby. Hello, baby. So cute. Okay, so there's a whole lot going on here in Times Square. It's so busy. Uh, everywhere you go, people ask you, do you want to hop on or hop off the bus uh, that we already have tickets for, but they're trying to sell you tickets for that. And then all the people in character are trying to get you to take a picture with them, which we fell for it on the first one. Uh, we took a picture and a video with a dinosaur with Ashlyn. And afterwards he's like, okay, remember I work for tips and all we had was a 20. So he got a nice little tip, but now everybody else wants pictures and we don't have any more cash. So we're having to politely decline, but there's so much going on here. This is pretty awesome. This is the most New York thing we've done. We're eating New York hot dogs from a street vendor in Times Square. The guy that I ordered from, it was the, it felt like I was on an episode of Seinfeld. Why? The guy was so, Italian. I had no idea what he was saying, but it, apparently he just kept talking and I kept ordering things I wasn't sure if I was ordering. <laughs> People behind me were laughing because they understood what he was saying and I kept missing it. So we have extra drinks I didn't order and we have the uh, the New York one with sauerkraut and they just got regular ones with mustard and mayo. Oh my goodness, I'm ready to try it. I've never had a hot dog with sauerkraut on it, so I'm interested to see how this is. Oh man, it smelled delicious. Every time you open it up, something about that water. Did you tell him what our neighbor called it? Why? What was it called? Uh, dirty water, dirty water hot dogs. That's what he said we were coming to have. I don't know if that's a compliment it delicious. or what, but it smells so good. That's the fanciest Applebee's I've ever seen in my life. I know the fanciest everything here, like the Target, everything looks so cool. No matter where we go, she can't stay off those flowers. They're so pretty in the middle of New York City. Look. They better make the video, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I know the editor. <laughs> We left uh, Times Square, Time Square and we're down here by the Tonight Show in Jimmy Fallon and Radio City. I know that's a tourist thing, but it's so cool to see things you see on TV. I know, it really is. <laughs> we're getting the hang of this New York thing. The crosswalks are tricky, so we have this new new policy. Just walk when they all walk. They can't hit us all. Don't be the first one to walk. <laughs> you won't get hit that way. <laughs> all right, we made it to the bus stop. We're on the blue line heading to Uptown to check out Central Park. So uh, we've been using buses. Yeah. Guess how many steps we got already? How many? 12,000. Oh my gosh. That's so many. Surely a lot of them came from, I don't know. Riding the bus? Yeah. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> the bus gets you to a general vicinity, but then you want to walk and see everything. It feels like BC all over again. But like, we're going to be so tired. So many things. Yeah. And did you tell them what time we started our day? It was five when we woke up. We had it a was. goal of leaving by six. We left Ooh. by 645. So early for 
all of us minus Kevin. So I'm shocked we're still here actually because we're well into the afternoon at this point. <laughs> we just started our bus tour and it's just in time because look at this. Done, done, and done. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm still kicking. Looks like we're riding. Oh, you're not done? Were you faking? Were you faking? Looks like we're going to ride the bus for a while and enjoy Central Park from the Double Decker. So we're not in the blue bus anymore. The blue bus that went around Central Park actually took two hours and two of the three kids slept the entire time. We had to wake them up to get off. We're back in Times Square now. We jumped back on the red bus. So tell us about that bus driver. Who that bus driver? Well, it wasn't the driver. It was no, no, the, when she came up and talked to us. The helper, yes. Yeah. Some people tried to get off at Times <laughs> Square, like right here when we were coming in and she was not happy about it. She told them to sit down and they said, well, when do we get off? She said, if you would read your pamphlet, you'd know when you get off. And then they said something back to her and she said, if I have an attitude, it's because you gave me one first. <laughs> okay, welcome to New York. <laughs> As she walked away, I was like, well, of course we don't know what we're doing. We're riding a tourist bus. You're supposed uh, to read that How pamphlet. are we supposed to know? Like, <laughs> She just stopped at this red light for like, I don't know, four minutes and it turned green and red again. So we're like, maybe we're supposed to get off here. So people started to get off. And she came up and corrected everyone that stood up. <laughs> then I got honked at for crossing the road. Apparently I took too long and the lady honked at me and pointed to the stoplight above me. So I just pointed back to her. Hey! <laughs> I feel like I didn't know. We're actually heading back towards the Empire State Building and we're trying to make our way back to One World Trade Center because this bus right here stops running at 6 p.m. and right now it's what 4 30 yeah 4 30 so we were planning on going up inside the empire state building but now i think we're going to go ahead and try to get back to world world trade center and we're going to go up inside there because we don't want to get stuck not knowing how to get back home and we don't understand taxis yet actually i don't understand a lot about what's going on this bus has been amazing but uh New York, New York, New York, New York's big. Yeah. Is New York big, Bubba? It also feels like it's gotten way more crowded the later in the day it <laughs> comes. So I guess it's like a nighttime city. Like people come here for the evenings because there's a whole lot going on out here that wasn't going on at lunchtime. This is Times Square. We're leaving. This is where we ate lunch. I would love to come back and see this place at nighttime. This is like Las Vegas without the casinos. Up there, you see that? That's the ball they drop every year at New Year's. This place is probably a happening place on New Year's. I can only imagine the people here. Here's the Empire State Building. That is a big building. I was wrong that was not the Empire State Building this one is the Empire State Building I just think all the big giant buildings must be the Empire State Building look at it right there I wonder what that last building was because it was huge too I, I thought know. it was the Empire State Building it looked like it like the pictures we've seen I mean, it looks like a famous building we've seen but that yeah. is clearly the Empire State Building you know I bet if we put our earplugs in oh, it would tell so us if we went in we go right the there where that little roof thing is yep. those openings that's oh. where you'd go oh my gosh but guess what where we're going goes even higher than that that's crazy so what are your thoughts on the traffic now this is what I thought New York would be like. Like, this is too much. There is so much going on. I just saw a guy on a scooter. The guy on the back was riding with him. He had two pizzas in his hand, not even in a bag. And they're like dodging traffic, going around cars. And he's doing this with the pizzas. Look at this. It's like demolition busing right now. Yes, I just don't know how they do it. Like, oh, yeah, I know how they do it. They just honk their horns. <laughs> I did tell Kevin it feels like a foreign country where everyone's always on their horn all the time. Like that's all I know about 
foreign countries and uh, that's how this feels but being up here and having a bird's eye view to all that's going on down there I was sitting up there in the front with the big window mm, I moved to the back because that's too much <laughs> makes me nervous. <laughs> I have no idea what the name of this building is, but it's the famous triangle building where the road splits around it. We looked it up. It's called the Flatiron Building. Thank you, Google. <laughs> hey, hey, in case riding a bike wasn't like already hard enough here, he's going to do it with a popping a wheelie the whole he's time. Still popping he's still going. He's still going. He had to ride by that other biker. He was like, look him. at me. <laughs> oh, you got two wheels? I can do it on one. <laughs> We managed to make our way back to World Trade Center 1. Ashlyn, do you want to go in the top of this big building next to us? You're looking at the wrong building. You want to go in the top of that one? Go on the top of this building. You want to go up top and look down? Think you can see everything from up there? Let's go find out. How much you want to bet Alicia gets scared to walk up to the window? Not at all. She was afraid to ride in the front of the bus. <laughs> Moving objects scare me. This won't scare me. They said it's like 47 seconds to the top. Oh my, oh my oh, god. Oh, look what they do. It's a TV screen and it tells you what you're doing. Look. Oh, it tells the year. Look, it's got the year on it. Oh, it's, it's what look, New York looks like? It oh. Look back here. Oh, my ears just popped. Mine too. Oh, wow. It's huge. That's 1940s? Oh my gosh. Wow. Right, There's the Brooklyn Bridge. We can finally see it. Your ears are popping too. Oh, okay. Oh, that was actually pretty quick. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the top of One World Trade Center. Right there. That's where we validated our truck this morning. to count backwards all the way down. <laughs> no, oh my god. Ooh, that make you a little dizzy. Whoa. Oh, four, five. oh my god. It actually feels like it's spinning. It does, right? It's got my ears popping again. Keep counting. So what'd you think of it? This is awesome. It was worth was it every worth penny. It? Yeah, absolutely it was worth it. This was the best thing I think we did all day. The elevator ride or seeing it? Because this is like a roller coaster right now. I mean, now. this is pretty awesome too. <laughs> I would have paid just for this. I feel like I'm in a Thank you for visiting One World Observatory. Thank you for letting us come to visit. We went up in the World Trade Center. One World Trade Center to be exact. And not only was it a great view, there's actually a restaurant and a bar up there, and they have a event room you can rent out. If you want to have your wedding there, it costs how much? Yeah, just just a measly $200,000 is what the lady told us as we were riding up the elevator, and that's just for the room. Then you gotta pay for all the stuff for the wedding and the food and everything, so. I don't know anyone that's gonna be getting married there. We're done exploring, but we couldn't leave New York without getting some Italian food. So we're heading about six or eight blocks or maybe more because we can't read the map that way to some authentic New York Italian. Yes, we got some recommendations from our friend Marcy. So thank you in advance because I already looked at the menu and it's gonna be great. Also, Marcy's the reason this video is so long because she gave me all the tips on how to do all the things. We are eating. 
That's right, look at this. So that's the restaurant. We have Peter's out here. And this is the street. So as long Isn't as that Central Park behind us? No, it's not oh. Central Park. <laughs> this is how little I know. It looked pretty like Central Park. We can't Central walk Park. to Central Park. <laughs> but this is awesome. We had some authentic Italian food. I can't even say the name of the restaurant. Can you? Can't say the name of the restaurant and can barely say what I ordered. What did you order? We'll go with lemon something. Shoot, <laughs> limon something i can't remember i can't say mine either and if i did i would say it so <laughs> wrong but it was amazing the girls had an amazing dessert what did they get what was it called well it was like chocolate cake with the ice cream on top and raspberry sauce on top it was delicious I had a little bite. we loved it can't say a single thing from there and alicia didn't even know how to listen to the guy he said would you like tap water or bottle water and she goes, I looked repeat at the question. Him like he had two heads because I could not, I did not understand. I think I'm so tired that. No, I'm no. It's because they're actually Italian here. They're not right. like the waiters at Olive Garden or Carrabba's. They're I, actually Italian. I told him I don't get out much anymore. <laughs> so I don't hear a lot of accents or uh, things outside of my family speaking <laughs> to me. So I looked at him and I didn't know what he said. He said it again. So I looked at Kevin. He translated for me and I got me some tap water. <laughs> we had a great time here in New York, but it's not over with. We have to catch the water taxi and get to that side of the river because that's where our truck is parked. We're on the water taxi and look at this. There's New York City. There's Jersey City. Did you have fun today? Can you say bye New York? By New York, maybe? <laughs> We made it back to Jersey City. Our truck is right there at the Hyatt. We need to go see how much this valet cost us, but it was way easier than trying to drive a dually anywhere near there. One last look at New York City in the dark. It is beautiful. See you later, New York.